Today is Tuesday, April 16th at 6 o'clock, and this is a regular meeting of the City Council for the City of Trinidad. <coughs> Would you please uh, turn all your cell phones off, and please be respectful and take personal conversations into the lobby area. The following items are on file for consideration of Council. I'm sorry, Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item number one is roll call. Shu? Here. Trinell? Here. Williamson? Here. Devono? Here. Thurman? Here. Ogletree? Here. Griego? Here. Item number two, approval of the agenda. Does anybody have corrections to the agenda? I have two. I'd like to take off the consent agenda. I'm sorry, my iPad died just before the meeting started, so I'm going to have to borrow. I would like to move items 5B, approval of special event permit application for malt Vinus and Spiritus filed by memorial statute for Miss Cathay Williams for on 16 East Main Street for May 31st and June 1st on to under miscellaneous items with, with miscellaneous item number B, 8B, I'm sorry, and item 5C, approval of special event permit application Malt, Minus, and Spiritualist filed by Trinidad, Los Animas County, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce at 201 West Main Street on 5-4 for their Cinco de Mayo celebration. Um, other than that, do I have an approval to amend the agenda? Do you need a motion? Yes, I need a motion. Uh, so we are amending the agenda. Oh, okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. No. We have a motion. I'm sorry, I've got uh, so moved. Who wait? I have made a motion okay. for the Is agenda a altered. Oh what? Second. Oh second. Okay. Uh, oh sorry. call the vote. No, that's okay. Uncle Tree? Yes. Shu? Yes. Trinell? Yes. Thurman? Yes. Stevano? Yes. Lainson? Yes. Grego. Yes. Item number three, policy items and staff reports. None tonight. Okay. Item four, petitions and communications, oral or written. You'll have five minutes for comments. Mr. Downs is our timekeeper, and he will verify and notify you when there's one minute uh, left on your time, so you won't have to short your, uh, shorten your comments. Um, if you have any material, that needs to be sent to council, please also give a copy to the city clerk. Mm -hmm. Item number person, Melissa Clark, special events permit. Are you speaking in addition to what's on the agenda or is this something special you want to speak about? Um, I can speak about it if you want me to. I think you you meant that you're going to speak when we talk. Yeah. About, okay. Are you all right that I take you off? Okay. Yeah. Dan Rossetti wants to talk about Central Park infield. Good evening, Mayor Council. Uh, I did put in a request uh, for some records. I thought I might have them today, but I don't. This is on the AstroTurf field being put in at the baseball field. I I believe you guys didn't know that that wasn't part of the first project. That's a project all in itself with another contractor. And my thoughts and wonders are, why wasn't this put out to bid and I don't believe council approved? And why wasn't it brought to council to be approved? Because it's over $400,000 for the infield and my question is you know how could they how could they just hire a contractor without putting it out for bid and without coming to council to get it approved and so with that being said 
if I can be put on Monday's work session and we could discuss this if possible I'd appreciate it if not that's fine and one question maybe less might be able to answer this because it's all around town is how much can the city manager spend without going to council it's gone from ten thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars so people are wondering how much can some the city manager spend without going to council and where can you find that okay i appreciate it thank you thanks joe bernardo he also wants to see the guard central park well, I'm back. Madam Mayor, I guess everybody knows who I'm here. Who I am. I'm Joe Bernardo, the director. And I'm here tonight to talk about some questions that I have about Central Park. And I'd like to address certain council members to answer my question, if that's possible. I don't, I don't want all council members to answer my question. I want certain council members to answer my question. Uh, okay, so my first question goes to city councilman and mayor pro tem, Aaron Williamson. How many work orders has council passed for work at Central Park? How many work orders? Council, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, council, we have a policy. Council does not answer questions to every three days. Well, come on. When ask, the, people are asking us this. They said you can ask the questions and we will get your answers. But we don't have council answer no. questions directly during the meeting. We'll so, write your questions. So you don't have to ask. I don't have to ask. That's ask. correct. We, we specifically. When did that change? Uh, I was on council 13 years. Order, order, please. Well, I'm just asking, Madam Mayor. No, These are not, people that. Not in that tone, sir. Not in that tone. You don't know my tone. There's a lot of tones I speak. But, you know, I don't know why council can't do this. Can the council answer me? Why can't they answer me? It's been a policy for about Tell two me the policy. years. Be happy to. But it's a it's a, a an agreed upon policy. Well, these are all the questions that I have. So when can I express my views? Uh, you can express your views now and ask your questions now. And what we do is we generally answer questions at the next regular meeting. Well, I guess so because then city councilmen or city managers have the chance to speak about these questions, right? Which the council may not know. Right. That's why we do it that way. Yeah. So we can formulate an answer. So if I ask a question. So Mr. Mr. Ruger and the council person goes in and speaks to Mr. Ruger. He's going to tell what the councilman would be his answer. Well, the council, the person, council know. Right. The council person probably won't even be the one who is going to be answering the question. Mr. De Mr. Can, Bono, continue on with your presentation. What? I'm sorry, Mr. Bonato. What did you ask me? I said continue on with your presentation. Well, that's all I had was three questions to ask this council. I did not know that I could ask this question to the individual council. You could ask the questions, you're not going to get answers. Yeah, until when? Next meeting. Next meeting. Yeah. All right, I'll ask the questions. Okay. But make sure you have a meeting with the city manager or the mayor to answer these questions. Okay? All right. Uh, let's see. I asked about the work orders, okay? Okay. And did council approve an extension base for the project to be done at Central Park? And if so, how many days was the extension and how much money was paid out for these extensions? When I was on council, we extended some projects, but if the project wasn't done at a certain time, the city could come back and charge them a fine for so many days after it. Hope you're paying attention. Okay. Uh, Danny, I think Danny asked about the lights, $168,000. When we had a power and light crew that are very capable of putting these lights in. When I was on council, we approved lights to be put in. That was years ago, but it hasn't been done yet. But Dean Duran was supervisor down there. He made a point that this power and light could put those lights in. 
without spending one hundred sixty-eight thousand dollars. Okay. Okay, I wanted to ask the mayor this, but since I can, I'm just going to bring it up. How much money? And that's what I said with Danny asking him. Can the uh, city manager spend without council approval? I don't remember that, but there was a certain amount that was appropriated for this. I know you guys are new on council and everything, Mr. Trio, but you got to learn all this stuff before I got to know you. And why can't this company, that's what I said about, oh yeah, okay, we can't, why can't this company work weekends like the construction crew by the courthouse? I am told that they work 12 to 14 hours a week plus weekends. Have you ever went by Central Park on a weekend? Do you see anybody working? Hell no. I mean, heck no. And you guys are just keeping extension and extension. And it's costing us more money and more money. Think about it. Think about it. If I had been sitting in that council seat, I would have sure been raising heck because this is money that's just been thrown away, thrown away for this project. Mr. Ruger told me, he said, well, we're looking at the future. Oh, when's the future? 2045? What you talking about the future? Give me a break. Thank you. Under 4A, petitions and communications, there's a correction. Instead of Candace Wells, Welch presenting for Mozart, it will be Paula Menina. Ms. Menina, will you please step forward? Good evening. Good evening, Mayor, Council members, and staff. As one of the eight women who founded Noah's Ark Animal Welfare Association about 30 years ago. Excuse me, Paul, could you speak up a little? Yeah. Okay, do I have to say it again? No. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> From our beginning as a shelter without walls to managing the old and new city shelters, the city has been an ally. Oh, and supported our rewarding <clears throat> but challenging work of caring for animals in need. We thank you. Along with board members Candace Paul and Debbie Anderson, I am here tonight to reimburse the city $8,209 dollars and 91 cents which is the balance of city funds last allocated to Noah's Ark for shelter and management services. <clears throat> In addition, I am presenting you with a check for $730.97 collected in our donation boxes at local businesses <coughs> through our Colorado Gives campaign and from other donors in support of the shelter. Combined with the $8,905 we gave you on February 20th, Noah's Ark has donated $10,723.97 to the city shelter this year. Noah's Ark also processed the first gift of, from donors who wanted to claim a tax deduction for their contribution to the city shelter. The former Trinidad residents designated that their $500 gift be used to stay in New York shelter families. As we move forward, we will also donate the majority of net proceeds of Noah's Ark Hearst store to the shelter once budget goals are met and upgrades are finished, including a new home decor annex that will open in May or June. From the beginning, the main goals of Miller's Ark Animal Welfare Association have been to support a Trinidad animal shelter and advance the humane care of cats and dogs. 
As Noah's, Noah's Ark enters this new era, those goals remain the same. Thank you. Thank you. Also under petitions and communications, Council Bob just for public record, and I want to recognize these two individuals. Elizabeth Kelly, who took, sent in her notice of resignation from the Historic Preservation Board, and also from Lee Elliott Lopez, who is resigning from the Ministry Board. <coughs> Those letters were in your packet, but I want to uh, publicly thank both of these uh, individuals for their work on behalf of the City of Trinidad. Consent agenda as amended, item 5A, approval of the regular meeting minutes of April 2nd and special meeting minutes of April 8th. Item 5D, approval of payroll in the amount of $1,434,000. I'm sorry, bills, $1,434,896.31. And approval of payroll for the pay period of April 13th through April 26th. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Is there a second? Second. Call the vote, please. Williamson? Yes. Shield? Yes. Devano? Yes. Ogletree? Yes. Turnhill? Yes. Thurman? Yes. Carrico? Yes. Item six, public hearings, we have none. Item seven, unfinished business, we have none. Item eight, a first reading of an ordinance amending section 3 23 3A Alcohol Beverage Festival Standards of Chapter 3 Alcoholic Beverages of Code of Ordinance of the City of Trinidad concerning timing for the submission of festival permit applications and setting a public hearing at 6 p.m. on May 7th of 2024. I need someone to introduce the ordinance, please. Introduce. Is there a motion? No, motion. Second. Second. Mayor and City Council, this ordinance will just simply align the city's code with what the state now requires. Originally, the state um, required 10 days notice to them. Prior to an event, the city matched that timeline. They've since changed it to 30 days notice. So it's a simple change to a lot more time. Questions? No, 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 Yes. no, 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 Yes. no, 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 Yes. no, 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 Yes. no, Yes. no, Yes. no, Yes. no, 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 for memorial statue for Ms. Cathay Williams at 616 East Main Street on 531 and 61 of, of 2024. Uh, in looking through the application, we find that the application is incomplete. The requirements for the insurance requirements were not met as pre prescribed on Chapter 21 of the Municipal Code. Uh, section 2-15, you have to have not liable premises liability, you have to lot have special events liability in addition to li liquor legal liability. And the certificate that was uh, presented to the city clerk does not meet those qualifications. So you will have to go back to your insurer and get those, uh, those two items issue before we can issue the liver license. Do you have any questions? Do I have to call vote on this? No. Well, okay. I, I need a motion to table. Yeah. Uh, table. Yeah. This until the, the application is complete. And there would be a, a motion to postpone. Motion to postpone. Yeah, table means you'd have to revisit it this meeting. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. You probably I apologize. I'm still nope, that's this. okay. It's the old city clerk in me. But, um, <laughs> okay, but that's yeah. fine. Thank God you're here. And, Mayor, I think there's an active motion on the floor, so that whoever made that motion mm -hmm. has to withdraw. Mm -hmm. 
No, there no, isn't one. No. Yeah. Just yeah, after, when, after I after I introduced, you said can I have a motion? Oh no, that was for no. the first reading yeah. of the ordinance. We this is okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my fault. Good job, you too. Yeah. All right. Good job. That's okay. I'm confused as it is. Yeah, don't put it I move to table the special event permit application filed by the Memorial Statute for Ms. Kathleen Williams. Is there a second? Second. Call the vote, please. Williamson? Yes. Tabona? Yes. Chu? Yes. Trinhill? Yes. Thurman? Yes. Ogletree? Yes. Creative? Yes. Item. 8C on the um, amended agenda. Approval of special event permit application filed by Trinidad, Los Angeles County Hispanic Chamber at 201 West Main Street on 5 4 of 2024 to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. If somebody from the Hispanic Chamber is here. We need some clarification on the diagrams that were presented. It doesn't affect your liquor license, but there's questions council has as far as how many streets are being closed for the event. Uh, last year we had issues with some citizens that felt that it was too extensive. So would you please come in, come up and speak on that on behalf of the Hispanic Chamber, please? I will. Thank you. Thank you. We, um, We've always had uh, the festival from from West Main to Maple Street. However, what we're considering now is to uh, go to the intersection of Main and West Main, so that we don't disturb the folks from the intersection to Maple Street. And so, uh, we're going to compromise that you know that part of it and we'll move vendors more to to west main this way so that um i understand you know i'm in business and i understand how that affects business people so willing to do that and uh, move up, you know more vendors more to the right and um that's it if you have any questions council have any questions i'm, I'm still not clear i'm sorry um yeah. Um, it, we're on this map. We're, we're this street closure is is uh, here's commercial. Here's main. Where does that stub out there? I don't know. Can I have explain? Oh sure. She's Missy's farm. Where they're always at is from Maple all the way down here. Is where she's they're usually at. Okay. So what we're trying to do is meet a happy medium with views and shift over a block and just be from. Main and commercial to Animus is probably flip down this way versus being over there where we're at, blocking off part of Main Street businesses over there and commercial. We're trying to push ourselves this way along with I think everybody else is starting to do so. I guess my other question is does staff understand the parameters of what they're asking? Yes. Okay. I don't know what we need with um, the vendors. Um, truck vendors and small vendors and crafters uh, this Thursday so that that will be uh, an explanation also for, for them so they'll know that you know we're going to compromise this so that we can we want to make sure everybody has to be on the other end you know and so we'll, we'll work to move everybody you know to West Bay. You guys have any questions? No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so just, just clarification, then. Uh, Animus Street is okay to go in this direction. Yeah. So this way we're all solid on it. So from Animus to, to commercial at the Verizon store. So that'd be commercial in Maine. So how far can we go to this end? Would High Street be okay? Yeah, we would just want to, sorry, Mayor, Council. Um, we would just want to make sure we consult with the business owners who are down there, but I don't see any issues if you wanted to extend down Maine to the west past Animus. Yeah, because it would just be taking away a block over there yeah. and just bringing a block over yeah. there. High Street is on the other side of Animus. 
Yeah, just one block over. If need be, if we need more room. But if not, is it okay to swing around the Chimino Park if we get too many vendors? So I think so much. And just down Animus here, I'm going all the way around the Chimino Park. I don't think we'll need all that space. But if we do, we would just think one of them could expand this way. Would we still have to do another map? Here? No, the, the permit, the event permit was already issued. It's just we needed a clarification okay. because we had issues last year when that whole of Main Street was closed. We had issues with business people down there. It, it actually shut down the business, and I appreciate that. I know you're all going over and above. And in addition to this event, we have at least one more car show if you not another one on on being planned for for the remainder of the summer. So we would appreciate it. It's not mandatory, but we would appreciate it. Well, Mayor Council, if I may, I think um, just to try to clarify a little bit. So basically, we're not going past Eastward from commercial. So right. And then we might have to be a little accommodating on further west in front of the box, and then maybe a little bit down. Um, Animus coming towards City Hall, but that does divert the, um, the closure from commercial to Maple, which right. I think is the, right. the big concern. So right. we'll, we'll work with the organizers to make sure we come up with something that works for everybody. Okay. Raymond, do you have any questions? I have no questions. Uh, I think I understand we have overflow, you want to extend past yes. Los Animus, and then we have, how far down Los Animus is Probably the city hall. Okay. All right. All right. I have no questions. Uh, it's always a nice event. Uh, thank you for the effort you put into it. And then um, I, I think, as uh, Mr. Ruger said, it's important that businesses are can make it ahead of time so they can make a plan. But I mean, we should draw people as well. So. And, and you know, we did early on. And for us, that's what we do, you know, and we let uh, all the businesses and ladies did uh, uh, the walking and let them know, gave them notices as well. And so, yeah, we did do the planning yeah. early enough. Uh, thank you for But we can work. Thank you for working with, with what's yeah. there. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Yeah. Question. Yeah. The beer will remain in the beer garden. People yes, it'll stay. Yeah, no, no. Okay. It'll be like it better that way because there's more of us to watch how that goes uh, than if it was anywhere else. Mm -hmm. okay. It's still working. Yeah. And for the record, we had Melissa Clark in your one in the middle. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank, you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, item 8C. Do I have a motion to approve the special event permit application for the mall tennis and speed for the fire bike? Committed by Los Angeles County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce at 201 West Main Street on May 4th, 2024. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Call the vote. Chairman? Yes. Trino? Yes. Ogletree? Yes. Chu? Yes. Bono? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Trino? Yes. Item 9, Council Reports. I'll start with you, Mr. Grimes, and I've been at the uh, I have no uh, report at this point. Um, I, I have no report. Name it. No reports. No Annie. No. Uh, no. I'm Mr. Grimes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to make. Nothing from the Los Angeles County residents. So Arts and Culture has put out a request for proposals for a sculpture for the ballpark. So if you know people who are sculptors, get the word out um, on that. And I'm meeting, I've met again with the Trinidad Golf Association and we're working hard on resolving some of the um, physical issues with the building and it's going very well. Thank you. I had a conflict with the the uh, Lodging Tax Advisory Board. I was here at City Council for a meeting with CDOT and wasn't able to attend. But I did attend the History Colorado meeting that was held a week ago 
on Saturday at the Space to Create building. And there's been uh, a lot of residents and tourists that have complained about the condition of the back of Bloom House Museums here in Trinidad. And Don DePrince, who is the chairman of the History Colorado Board, came down and she brought her staff and they allowed the citizens to give their opinion as to what History Colorado needs to do, specifically for those two facilities, because for those of us that have been around for a while, understand that those facilities were in a lot better shape about at least eight years ago. And it, they got the message loud and clear. They had a good representation from uh, the community. So it seems like it's moving in the uh, right direction. So that I think that's important because that's uh, a gem that the city has, and I think it's not utilized correctly. So that's all I have from my report. Item 10, reports by city manager. Yep, um, Mayor Council, just a, a couple of, of items I wanted to highlight. I want to first thank our power and light crews. They've been out at the golf course clearing out a lot of the dead trees that are out there. And then also our building inspector, John Wilkinson, is working uh, closely with golf course staff to get a comprehensive list of any maintenance concerns, <laughs> which we, uh, we hope to, to address as much as possible moving forward. Um, I want to thank our friends from Noah's Ark. Um, we really appreciate their diligence. We gave them, council authorized $150,000 for them um, towards the end of last year. They told us that it would cost them about that much just to maintain the shelter for a couple of months. So to get $80,000 back of that 120 is a really good thing. So I, I thank them for that. But with that, I have a couple other updates on um, the Trinidad Animal Shelter, as we're calling it now. Um, Again, I want to thank John Wilkinson, our building inspector, um, Pam Briscoe out there, Jen Lay. Um, they're putting in a lot of volunteer hours outside of their normal jobs. Um, and over this past weekend, they were able to install, uh, I think there's eight or 10 brand new kennels outside. Um, that's going to be a great place. They're covered, so they'll keep the uh, animals out of the sun. So really, really good efforts there. And then we'll be applying for a $5,000 grant in June, um, and hopefully we'll get that and we can use that to um, put a concrete surface below the kennels and then put some uh, animal friendly turf on top of that. For now there's, I think, pea gravel, which works, but it does get caught in a doggy's paws, so we want to do better by our animals. But lots of, lots of good things happening there. This 80,000 that we just received will go into the budget that we have established for the animal shelter, um, which we desperately need. Um, they, they absolutely could use some more staff and some no, more resources. They're doing the best they can. Um, we won't be able to hire more staff, but at least this helps secure our funding for the, for the shelter throughout the remainder of the year. And then the last thing I, I just wanted to mention is we are uh, actively working on planning our Santa Fe Trail Festival. The city is taking that over this year for the first time in a long time. It will happen on June 7th and 8th, so that's a Friday, Saturday. There'll be rides, there'll be um, uh, beer for those of you who want beer. There'll be uh, bands, vendors, we're inviting our friends from the uh, um, art, or, sorry, the farmer's market to come set up booths. Um, there'll be a bowl, a mechanical bowl, if you want to try that out. <laughs> but we're hoping it'll be a, a really fun, uh, <laughs> spectacular event. And, um, and we're also, um, just so everyone knows, targeting probably about Convent Street, a little past space to create, and then wrapping around and incorporating City Hall into that event. So that event will take place in this area as well. So more to come on that, and we're, we're excited to be able to host that this year. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Rooker. Mr. Downs. Thank you, Mayor, you. Council Members. I don't have a report, but I just want to say for this forum and, and this venue while people are here, and, and were being filmed that there was a meeting of city council at the Trinidad Ball Field at 4.30. Of course, that was posted and noticed and publicly proclaimed as we must do, but um, there were at the meeting Councilman Williamson, Councilman Thurman, Councilman Trujillo, Mayor Griego, Councilman Ogletree, Mr. Ruger, and myself. Um, I think that's everybody. 
uh, Bob Dress was there, and also our contractor was there as well. Right, right. But anyway, just for for this venue, and so right. everyone knows, I just wanted to make that part of this record as well. And uh, that's the only thing I can report on. Happy to okay. answer any questions. Also, we will answer the questions of Ms. Rosetti and, and Mr. Benoit. I will uh, get in the next week. Thank you, Mr. Downs. I apologize because I was going to say something about the meeting at Central Park as well. And I think all of those in attendance were pretty much in agreement that it's going to be a beautiful project. Um, well worth what the money is being spent on. Some of it is mandated by the Department of Justice uh, case against the city. So uh, I think it's it's going to be there for many generations of Trinidadians to enjoy. And maybe even expand on what we're using that facility for now. It could be, it's beautiful. And more important than that, it's a lot more functional than it was right, in its prior shape. So thank you, Pat. And thank you for allowing me to add that. Item number 11 is an adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Yeah. Please. Shoe. Yes. Thurman? Yes. Trehill? Yes. Ogletree? Yes. Williamson? Yes. Cubano? Yes. Griego? Yes. Well, we need to Thank you all.